appreciate the chairman. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Wood, how many months were you in Libya? I was in Libya approximately six months. Mr. Nordstrom, how many months were you in Libya? Uh, approximately 10. Ms. Lamb, how many times have you visited Libya in, in the, uh, how many times have you visited Libya, period? I have not. No, no, none over the last 14, 15 months? No. None since the 200 plus incident, security incidents in Libya you visited? No, sir. Mr. Those Kennedy, how many times have you been to Libya? None. Okay. Um, let, let me go to this process. We, we had numbers earlier from Mr. Nordstrom. Uh, you talked about three slash five in Libya. Then we talked about you wanted 12 plus a backup of six. So I want to know about this process. And actually, I'll go to Mr. Kennedy first. In your testimony, Mr. Kennedy, um, you would say the Department of State regularly assesses risk and allocation of resources for security, a process which involves considered judgments of experienced professionals on the ground and in Washington using the best information available. So that process, I want to know how the decision was made. Are you involved in that process, Ambassador Kennedy? At most normal occasions, I am not involved. There is an ongoing dialogue. Where does that process go to? Are people in the White House directly involved in that process? Is Secretary Clinton directly involved in that process? The process if, if there are disagreements between the post in the field and the diplomatic would you security classify what, Would you classify what took place here as a disagreement based on what Mr. Norris and Mr. Wood have testified to, what Ms. Lamb has said? Uh, no, sir. I would this didn't reach a disagreement level? I would describe it as a dialogue between the post and diplomatic security. So this didn't, reach a, this didn't reach a level where you needed to weigh in or someone higher needed to weigh in? No, sir, it did Anyone not. at the National Security Council, no, anyone sir. weigh in there? No, sir, it did not. Okay. Mr. Norris, let me turn to you then. I, I want to know, uh, in the email that Congressman Chaffetz referenced earlier, the interview you had with Congressman Chaffetz and Chairman Issa back on October 1st, you stated this is not, a, quote, not an environment where posts should be directed to normalize operations and reduce security resources in accordance with artificial timelines. And yet today in your testimony, it was a little different tenor, as I think the ranking member brought out. And you, you, you mentioned at one point the answer should not be to operate from a bunker. So uh, I want to ask you these questions. Uh, first of all, since that interview with Chairman uh, Issa and Chairman uh, Chaffetz, uh, staff has indicated they have tried to contact you six different times via telephone. You have not responded. Is there a reason you did not respond to those telephone calls? Uh, that is correct. Um, no, it is correct you didn't respond. Is there a reason? Uh, I had been uh, advised by the Department of State that all And who specifically advised you to do that? Our uh, Legislative Affairs Office. And did they tell you where that came from? Did Ms. Lamb specifically advise you not to talk to No, him? she did not. Did, Mr., uh, did Ambassador Kennedy tell you to do that? No, he did not. Did Secretary of State Clinton tell you to do that? No, she did not. So who was the person who told you not to talk with our staff after you gave this interview where you gave us this information? I was advised uh, by uh, the Assistant Secretary Boswell, okay. uh, his office. Um, his staff that all requests for information and documents would need to be go would need to be vetted or routed through that office. Did did those same individuals help you prepare today's testimony? Uh, in the sense of of providing uh, general guidelines on did how they tell you they wanted to look it over before you came in front of this committee and gave it today. Of course. And and did they uh, did they write it for you? No, they did not. Okay, um, uh, Miss Lamb, I want to go back to. Um, I want to go back to this, uh, uh, this decision-making uh, process. So is it, is it customary to not um, listen as, well, I would, I would characterize, listen as intently as I think you should have to the guys in the field and what they wanted to have happen when they requested the 12 plus the 6 backup? Yes, sir. I listen intently to those conversations. Okay. Mr. Wood, let me, let me get you, bring you into the conversation here. I want your comments on that specifically, the number you wanted at in Libya plus the, the additional six? We uh, agreed to the, uh, <clears throat> the numbers between Eric and I and put forth those numbers. We felt great frustration, the fact that those demands were, were ignored or in some cases just never met. So the process we, I was earlier referencing when talking, uh, asking Mr. Ambassador Kennedy, tell me who you felt was involved in that process. Who were the individuals in Washington? You were the folks on the ground on, at post. Who were the folks that watched it in that process? I, I heard Eric Nordstrom uh, refer to uh, Ms. Lamb as far as the uh, deciding authority on, on providing those additional resources. Experienced professionals on the ground in Washington. Who are the other experienced professionals in Washington help make that decision? I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't know the answer Mr. to that. Mr. Nordstrom, who else? Because all we got right now, we know the Secretary of State wasn't, we know the White House wasn't, we know the National Security, we know Ambassador Kennedy wasn't. Somebody had to decide. Someone in Washington was telling you guys you couldn't get what you wanted. 
So was it just Ms. Lamb or were there other people involved in this process, Mr. Norstrom? Uh, again, I can't speculate in terms of who was. The person I dealt with was our regional director, uh, Jim Bacigalupo, and then Ms. Lamb. Um, okay. The, okay. the ambassador in the DCM, if I could just okay. add, okay. You can raised finish. the same, yep. okay. raised the same concerns. Uh, the DCM met with, with Das Lamb also in February, raised the same concerns in person. Uh, and it is my understanding that Ambassador Kretz made additional phone calls. Uh, all of us at Post were in sync that we wanted these resources. Okay. okay. Anyone that needs to answer that question, but Thank the gentleman's time has expired. Ms. Lamb? Uh, on behalf of Ms. Lamb, Ambassador Kennedy. <laughs> now, because I want to make Briefly, please. Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I was asked on a different question. I was asked whether <clears throat> I was going to request a third extension of the SST. I consulted with my colleagues, and because our colleagues had put together Wait, but that is not what you said earlier. You no. said you weren't involved, and now you are telling me you are. Which one is it? This is a, you ask a specific okay, question. Th this, this question, I am afraid, will, get, will be for the next round for both of you. 